Do you wanna know how to make your videos pop with a few different types of transitions in Filmora 10? Well, if you do, stay tuned because that's what we're talking about on today's video. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here, thanks for coming by. And like I said, on today's video, we are talking transitions in Filmora 10. Now, this is gonna be super easy to accomplish and it's gonna make your videos look that much better. So as always, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification. But enough of me talking, let's jump on the computer and see how we can get these transitions done in Filmora 10. All right, so here we are on the computer. We've got Filmora 10 up and running. And what we're gonna do is first import our clips that we're gonna use before we we can do any editing. So if you're new to Filmora, let me show you how to do that real quick. You can click right here in this little movie clacker. It'll bring up wherever your videos are at, or you might have to search for them. Or if you wanted to, you could um, open up a folder like I have here and just drag and drop them over. Super easy to import your, your files into Filmora 10. You can also do your audio that way or any voiceover work or anything like that. So let's bring our clips into the timeline. When they're both highlighted, as you'll see, it'll bring them both in at the same time. And let's see, this is what our film's gonna look like with a hard cut or a jump cut in it, which for today's purposes, we don't want that. We want this to be a little bit more smoother. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on transitions up here. And when you open it up, you'll see favorites if you favorite any. So I have one here that I use uh, a lot. You'll have your included, which has all different ones here. Then you'll also have your film stock. So if you're a subscriber to Filmora Film Stock, this is where their, uh, your transitions will show up. Now for today's video, there's gonna be a few that we're gonna focus on, and those are gonna be the dissolve, the fade, and I will look at the warp and speed blur, because you might wanna use those in your project. And really, it's really as simple as dragging and dropping. I mean, people over at Filmora have made this super easy, so anybody can look like a, an editing pro. So all you're gonna do is take that, you're gonna highlight it by clicking left click on it. And if you left click on it and then hit the play button here, it's gonna show you a little preview of what it does, which is nice. So if you're not sure, like, oh, I don't know what this flash does, let me, let me see about that. So it's a flash to white and then the next clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the one we want. We're gonna drag it down onto our timeline where there is a break in the video. And what it will do very simply is look like this once you do it, a nice smooth transition from one clip to the next. Now. If you highlight the ends of the, the transition, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter, whatever fits your needs for your video. So if you extend it out, it's gonna have a longer transition from one to the other. All right, so let's get this one out of here and let's see what the fade looks like. And again, the fade will show you, you left click on it, hit play, and it's gonna give you a preview of what it looks like. So you wanna see what a box turn one looks like? Looks like that. There's a bunch of different things that you can do and there's a whole bunch of pre-mades in here, which is awesome. So let's bring the fade down onto our clip, see what it looks like. And we're gonna hit play so you can preview it. So I usually go back in once I'm done editing and I've color graded, I've chopped up my video, I've rearranged it the way I want. Then I go back and figure out where I'm gonna put my transitions in. So again, it's super easy. All we're doing is dragging and dropping it right under the timeline. Now, what's cool about this is if we go up to elements and let's say we wanna have this wow right here, right? Or maybe we wanna have it right here. Let's put it right there. We can then come over to our wow, go back to transitions and we can put a dissolve in the beginning and maybe a fade at the end. So it'll look like this. So here we go, we're dissolving in, wow, right? And then we're gonna fade it out, which is kind of cool. So you can play around with those. You can use them not just on clip to clip, but you can use it on any of the elements that you're putting up on the screen. Now, let's say you wanna start off with a black screen with some letters on it, or maybe you wanna have some voiceover work that's leading up into your video. What you're gonna wanna do is go bring your playhead all the way back, double click on the clip you want to highlight, then we're going to go here and right here where it says edit, we're going to click on that. Now, normally it's going to bring you right to the video, but I was already in the animation tab a little earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the animation and we're going to start using some keyframes for this. And this is a great use of keyframes. And I'm glad Filmora added this to Filmora 10. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit add and it's going to drop a keyframe right there. Make sure you're under customized, uh, not the presets. And then let's say we want to bring it up a few frames to right about there. And we're going to add another one. Now just go back to the first one, highlight it. And we're going to take the opacity and bring it all the way down to nothing. So when we play this back, this is what it's going to look like. A nice fade from black 
to the video. So if I was doing some video like, uh, you know, something like, and on today we are walking to the beach, you know, something like that, and then it's gonna fade in. And you can adjust this keyframe as long or as short as you want it to be that fits the need for your video. So now this is just some of the ways that you can use transitions here in Filmora. Now, what I wanna do is show you the last two that I, I like to use. So we're just gonna bring down another same clip right there. We're gonna go back over to transitions. Now we're gonna look at speed blur and warp. These are two that I, I like to use. Uh, let's see here. So this is gonna add a little bit of a, uh, like an in-camera roll. So if you were doing in-camera transitions, while you're out in the out shooting your video this is going to kind of simulate that a little bit so let's just take a look at one of these and uh you know we'll do the uh number four here but is that the blurry cross so this is what it's going to look like now it's not exactly like an in-camera pan or roll or something like that but it does allow you if you forget to shoot something say oh man i didn't do a roll well you can add a roll it doesn't necessarily have to be a dissolve i just wouldn't use a lot of them you know you want to keep your transitions minimum in my personal opinion so we have those we have simple ones we have angled ones we also have warps which i like so you can do a morph to infinity and a zoom so i like the zooms um i just think they look good and they're super clean so this is what it looks like and again they're very easy just dragging them down now if i needed to speed that up again i can just grab the ends of that and bring it in and it's going to be a faster transition so i want to share these next two with you that are pretty cool and it's going to how to use the fade effect using presets and animation and using dissolve for title so you'll see what i mean let's just say you have a clip like this right and you want to have your title here well you're just going to go up to titles you're going to drag whatever title you want and for the tutorial i'm going to use just the basic because it's easy to see and you know that's kind of plain if that's how your video starts off which hey if that's what you want for your video cool it works what if you want to add a little to it so what if we want it to dissolve in and dissolve out we just go up to the transitions just like i did with the elements you're just going to drag it on there and it's going to do that for you just like that it's going to dissolve in and then it's going to dissolve out which is perfect now here's the thing if you want that title to fade in, one might think, oh, I'll just pull down the fade transition and do that, but see what happens. It turns the whole screen black. So that's not what we want. So in order to get that to work, we have to use some animation and some presets. So again, you're gonna click on this, the same spot where you can go and change everything, and move the position and scale and rotation and everything here by double left clicking on the title part you want to go up to here where it says animation click on that now you have your fade in your fade out you have all these presets you can do customizing but right now we're going to talk about the presets so you want the fade in you want the text to fade in you're going to drag this right onto it and it didn't work for me let me there we go okay so here it is when we hit play it fades in but then we run into the problem where it just gets to the end and it disappears so what we want to do is we want to grab the fade out, bring that down here, and then you can adjust these. So we're going to bring this arrow down here, that keyframe, this keyframe here. And now what's going to happen when you hit the playhead, your title is going to fade in, have your exciting music, and then it's going to fade out. That is the best way, in my personal opinion, for you to use some of these animations here to have it fade in and fade out like that. If you don't want to use the dissolve and you want to use that fade feature, just remember you can't use the fade feature in the transitions because that's going to transition the whole clip. It's going to make it go dark and then bring it back. So you want to fade in just the letters. This is the way to do it here with your um, presets in your animation and, and once you start getting comfortable with the keyframes there's a lot you can do with it so that one i thought was a pretty cool one so those are some of the ways that you can use the transition tab and all the different types of transitions in filmora so you can go from you know dark to light by using keyframes you can fade in and fade out different elements within the video or you can use transitions just to go from one clip to another. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. 
If you have, give it a good old like and a thumbs up. I truly would appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.